Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is Ravi Gupta. Today we gonna talk about suit blower. Why the suit blowing is required? How the suit blower work? What are the operation when we are going to carry? What are the operation and the precaution we gonna take when we are carrying out the suit blowing operation? Where the suit blower is placed? And what are the different type of suit blower? All that we will learn in today video. Before bringing the video, I want to tell you that I have made a video regarding various type of fuel oil burner, such as pressure jet burner, rotary cup burner, jet blast, steam type burner. If you want to know, you can click on the play section right now, showing in the I button. I will also keep it in description and the end screen. You can watch from there also. So let's begin the video of today suit blower. So first question come to our mind is that why suit blowing is required. So the internal combustion engine exhaust is utilized by the economizer to generate steam for auxiliary purpose when the ship is running full ahead. So as you know that this is an economizer which is utilizing the exhaust energy of the internal combustion engine that the main engine for generation generation of the auxiliary steam so as you know that the exhaust of the ic engine contain many carbon and unburn particle which may get adhere to the economizer body so as you know it is the exhaust of the ic engine it also contain carbon particles, sulfur dioxide, unburned particles, which may get adhered to the economizer body. This adhesion is loosely attached, but if left unattended, will cause corrosion and heat transfer hindrance. So, what do I mean by that? Is this is the fins which are provided in the economizer so that to enhance the heat transfer rate. This fin also provide a problem as they are enhancing the heat transfer rate by hindering the uptake gas flow so that providing good amount of time for the tube to be get heated it is also absorbing or it is also adhering the unburn particles and the carbon particles which may contain sulfur also. So this sulfur particle which is getting adhered to the fins if left unattended will cause cold corrosion when it fall below a dew point temperature. To prevent all that, we need a system such that it can remove this adhesion of the carbon particle to the fins from time to time. For that reason, we are utilizing soot blowing. So, Therefore, suit blowing is carried out to ensure that unburned combustion particle and the carbon doesn't get attached to the tube plate and is taken away with the uptake flow stream. Very easy. Now, this is the simplest diagram which you can find of the suit blower, which you can also draw in your exam for written or oral purpose. You can explain also. So as you can see, this is a tube, this is a tube and this is the suit blowing arrangement with having a nozzle at an end and at the other end it is screwed to a hand wheel. Okay, so this housing tube containing the suit blower is provided and this is a steam port. So basically what is happening when this hand wheel is rotated this tube is moved in a forward direction as it is moved in a forward direction the nozzle will come out of the housing tube and as well as that the steam port will get aligned with the steam inlet port okay now as the steam port get aligned with the steam inlet port it will allow the steam to pass through the nozzle and as you know the nozzle property is to change the pressure into a high velocity stream 
so it will change the steam into a high velocity steam which will be blown through a economizer tubes causing the removal of the carbon particle which is adhering to the surface this is a simple way of explaining a soot blower now let's see what i've written here but before carrying out the soot blowing means before ensuring that you we you will rotate the hand wheel and you will align the steam port with the steam inlet port so that the steam can flow and carry out a soot blowing we should keep something in mind first thing is that before carrying out a soot blowing operation drain the steam line very important why because soot blowing operation is carried out twice or thrice in a day so if you are as it is not a regular operation the steam in the line may get condensed and change into a water which if sudden steam is open it will cause hammering to prevent that we are draining the steam line now after draining the steam line we will also inform the bridge that we are going to carry out the soot blow very important why because as you can see here that as the soot blowing is carried out the uptake gas which is coming out from the funnel having carbon particles if the steam if the wind is blowing in such a direction that it is going on a not going away from the ship in that case it will may the carbon particle may accumulate on the deck which may unnecessarily cause the workload increase so to prevent that what we are doing we will inform the bridge that we are going to carry out a soot blow so what the bridge will do bridge will make the ship direction change such that the gas the uptake gas will be flowing on a away from the ship so that the uptake gases containing carbon particles doesn't get settled on the deck for that reason we are informing bridge now rotate the hand wheel of the soot blower it will align the steam port with the blower port and will take out the retractable nozzle out of the blower assembly so what i am talking about is this this is a retractable nozzles why it is called retractable because when it is not in use it is been placed inside a housing tube when it is put in use it is put outside the housing tube by the help of a hand wheel okay the steam will flow to the nozzle where it will be converted into high velocity steam and this high velocity steam will carry out the cleaning action okay very clear after carrying out the soot blowing operation rotate back the hand wheel to the normal position which will cause the retractable nozzle to be placed inside the tube so after carrying out the soot blowing we will up again rotate back the nozzle rotate back the hand wheel to a normal position so that it will place the nozzle back to the inside of the housing tube and it will move the steam port alignment away from the steam inlet so that no more steam injection can be carried out when it is not in use okay and again inform the bridge that the soot blowing operation is completed now they can rotate the change the direction of ship if the they have done the sudden changes or not now in this diagram i am showing you that where the soot blower is placed and how the soot blowing operation is carried out when the retractable nozzle is coming out the high velocity steam is injected in this way and it is performing the cleaning action so as you can see in this diagram that these are the placement of the soot blower one two here the soot blower are placed and high velocity steam are injected to this point now certain question come to our mind okay how the operation of soot blowing is carried out that i have told you but what are the precaution we are going to take so first thing is that soot blowing operation should be carried out once or twice in a day okay it means that it should not be carried out very frequent why because 
Suit blowing should not be carried out more frequent as high velocity steam will have eroding effect on a tube plate if there is no carbon deposit. So very important. As you know that engines are meant to be run in a full ahead and are designed in such a way that it will have a maximum efficient combustion. But still it will produce unburned combustion particles which will pass through the economizer. But if we carry out the suit blowing more frequently, it may happen that in first suit blowing operation, we have cleared all the carbon, most of the carbon adhesion to the tube. But in, in second or twice, third, when we are carrying our suit blowing operation, at that time, there may be no carbon particles. At that time, this high velocity steam will act directly on the this mild steel tubes and hence will perform an eroding action and therefore may cause the heat transfer rate efficiency to drop and also may cause puncturing effect. To prevent that, we should not carry out the suit blowing operation more frequently. Suit blowing should be carried out keeping the pressure, keeping the watch on the pressure of the boiler to ensure that a superheated steam is only used for suit blowing process. Very important point. So what do I mean by that is this. As you know, the suit blowing operation when it is carried out, it will make sure that the boiler is fully pressurized. What do I mean by that? Suppose the boiler working pressure is 7 bar. So when the boiler pressure is around 6.5, 6.3, then we will carry out a suit blowing operation and we will stop around 4.5 to 4 bar. Why? Because if we go below this pressure, it will it may happen the steam which is produced around 6 bar 6.6 bar to 4 bar is of that of superheated steam but if we go below that it may happen the steam which is coming out from the suit blower may contain water particles because it is dry saturated steam so suit blowing operation is carried out with the help of a superheated steam and should not be carried out with the dry saturated steam so to prevent the dry saturated steam to come in action and to damage the tube, it should be stopped when the pressure is around 3.8 to 4 bar. Okay, and that precaution we need to take when we are carrying out the suit blowing operation. Now, now in this diagram you are seeing a automated type of suit blower. Earlier what I have shown you was the blower, suit blower in which we are manually carrying out the suit blowing operation. But here the suit blowing operation is carried out through automation and the movement of the hand wheel is carried out by a, this electric motor. This electric motor will get the signal for the actuation and will cause this hand wheel to rotate through a set of flexible coupling but when the signal for actuation is given two actions are performed one thing is the rotationing of the hand wheel and second is that through a op operating screw a valve operating mechanism is connected which will also open the double set of valve which will allow the superheated steam to flow to the suit blower nozzle and this hand wheel rotation will help the steam to be injected all through the economizer so i hope in this today video you have learned how the suit blower operation is carried out what all the precaution we need to take and how the why the suit blowing is required if you have any doubt still please do comment below i will explain and i will comment back please friend please do subscribe and share my video please please have a good day image credit goes to marine engineering marine phantom phantom book